How to measure water without a measuring cup. Baking is science, as everyone knows. You measure every ingredient carefully. The main reason is that each one has a role in creating a certain recipe. Moreover, the measurement of each ingredient is very important. Keep in mind that it determines the failure or success of a recipe. But unfortunately, not everyone has a set of measuring cups in their kitchens. Whether they are new to baking, it is their first time venturing to bake or misplaced their measuring cups. Fret not because there are still ways to measure your liquids without using a measuring cup. However, it is still best to invest in a set of measuring cups to have the best results. Though, keep in mind that there are approaches to solve your problem at the moment. How to measure water without a measuring cup. When you do not have measuring cups, you can measure any liquid using a standard coffee mug. For that reason, you may have to make allowances for the size of cups that you intend to use. Also, avoid using an oversized coffee mug to replace your measuring cup. That is why it is best to look for the most standard sized coffee mug in your kitchen and use that to measure for all cup measurements. Moreover, the ideal standard size of a coffee cup is about 6 to 8 ounces. In that regard, when measuring and using a coffee cup, fill it up only to where it is suitable. Likewise, only fill it as suggested. Furthermore, avoid filling it up to the rim or lip of the cup. So with that, fill it up like making your favorite 3-in-1 coffee. Remember, it would be best to note the amount of liquid you fill it with. And make that a standard measurement in measuring your liquids. When measuring liquid without utilizing a measuring cup, the precise approach of measuring is an essential part of baking successfully. Remember that baking is different from cooking. You can always eyeball the liquid or water you put in your dish when cooking. In baking, it requires precision, and that is why you need to measure your liquids precisely. Doing this creates a successful cake or pastry. Consequently, failing to measure the right ingredients can cause a disaster. Measure liquid without measuring cup. When measuring how much space something takes up, you refer to it as volume. Likewise, referred to as the standard form of measurement used by most baking recipes in the United States. Gallons, quarts, pints, cups, and fluid ounces are the most common units of volume an individual can use. When measuring liquids using volume measurements, make sure to have an accurate set of liquid measuring cups. A coffee cup is not the same size as a measuring cup. In addition to that, a teacup and certainly a mug. In the United States, a cup of liquid is equivalent to 236.6 milliliters to 240 milliliters. And certain parts of the world like Australia, New Zealand, and Great Britain, equate a cup to 284 milliliters. The main reason is that they opt for mass measurements over volumes. Here are some conversions of a cup to milliliters. One quarter cup is equal to 59 milliliters. A half cup is equal to 112 milliliters. One cup is equal to 237 milliliters. Two cups or one pint is equal to 473 milliliters. One quart or two pints is equal to 946 milliliters, which are approximately one liter. One gallon or four quarts is equal to 3,785 milliliters. Things to consider on how to measure water without a measuring cup. If you measure water, one fluid ounce weighs exactly as one ounce of weight. However, that ratio can change based on the density of what you are trying to measure. But most of the time, a fluid ounce of liquid used in cooking will weigh close enough to an ounce. And for that reason, it will not affect the final results. However, it may be confusing at times. For instance, in the United States, an individual lists a dry ingredient in ounces. Bear in mind that it is in its unit of weight, you should always measure using a scale. Additionally, you can measure a wet ingredient listed in ounces in a wet measuring cup. However, baking is an exception to this rule. In baking recipes, bakers list weights before volumes. That is why they should measure it by weight using a scale. Remember, using a scale in measuring wet or dry ingredients by weight is the most accurate. In addition to that, it is a consistent way to ensure success when baking. Therefore, if you want to focus on baking, having a digital scale is ideal. 
So invest in a good reliable digital scale. The main reason is that it will save you from washing all that measuring cups and spoons. Also, here are several reasons why you should weigh your wet and dry ingredients using a digital scale. Invest on a digital scale. First, it is more accurate. Because of that, you do not have to worry about compressibility problems if you measure by weight. Bear in mind that 5 ounces of all-purpose flour will always be 5 ounces of all-purpose flour. It applies no matter how much you weigh it in different bowls. Besides, any liquid in measurement will always be the same as well. Also, measuring by weight only means that when you bake. Likewise, you follow a certain recipe. All the ingredients will have the same ratio. Keep in mind that it applies in each baking. Likewise, it happens no matter how many times you recreate the recipe. Second, it creates less mess. Measuring by weight will minimize the mess you are likely to create in the kitchen. It commonly occurs when using various measuring cups and measuring spoons. In addition to that, you will only need your bowls for your wet and dry ingredients. Also, it is convenient to use. You will only need a bowl and a scale to measure your ingredients and tearing after each addition of ingredients. Additionally, measuring your ingredients through a scale can improve accuracy. Besides, less mess is a good way to bake. You can also add a gram scale to heighten your success rate in baking. If you liked this video don't forget to like and subscribe.